Now an update to a story that we first brought you a year ago. Yep, a mysterious house in Diamonddale known as the Highway House. It has sat empty for more than a decade, the unfinished dream of its builder who died before completing it. I showed you how much work was needed to finish it. Now almost a year to the day, a new owner has rescued the relic with dreams of repairing, restoring, and renovating this steampunk palace. When builder Sam Elzawi died at the age of 87, unable to finish this massive, unique home, it sat empty for decades, vandals and Mother Nature taking its toll. Divorce left his family fractured, so the property defaulted to an out-of-state relative. Last year, we told you it needs massive work done to become livable, something the new owners say they are ready for. I've been driving by, driving by here for the last few years, and it's, I just love that house. Michelle Maurer and her husband have taken the leap of faith and purchased the home, knowing full well the job that lies ahead. Talking to my brother-in-law, which is a contractor, coming in and looking at it, and he said, well, if you don't, I will. So I knew that when Julie walked us through that day that I had to call and make an offer, that we needed to remove the drywall from ceiling to floor so he could come in and do his inspection and then we'll go from there. So our next step after taking out drywall will be to get the building permit. With original blueprints in hand, Michelle is determined not to get discouraged with the massive task. I didn't let it discourage me, you know, because my friend tells me that I'm optimistic. I could see past, you know. So my story didn't discourage you? No. Okay. Not at all. She is hoping with the help of family and friends and the support of the community, one day this house will become a home. My husband says, I'm saying next year. My husband's saying maybe the year after because he wants to do it. You know, like I said, we're on a fixed income, so we're doing it little by little on our own. Just as excited is Julie Sangster, who has been watching over the property for years. And Michelle seems like she's got a nice family. She's got the energy to, she loves this house. And so I'm excited. I really am. I'm happy that somebody, because I didn't think it was going to happen. Why would we, you know, yeah. it's a dream, you know. Come live in this castle. Who wouldn't want to live in a castle, right. you know? <laughs> and now the, the current. Somebody is. <laughs> Every good story has a twist plot, and this one is no different. While the owner was building this house, he was actually living down the street in another. Like the highway house, this other house right down the street sat vacant and empty for decades. Decay and vandals have taken their toll. Long thought unsalvageable, someone has just come forward and purchased this relic in the hopes of restoring this monster mansion as well. And coming up next hour, I'll introduce you to the new owner of the so-called Munster Mansion and reveal their plans to restore it after years of neglect.